Okay, this is part two. We're going to end part two. Now, in ending part two, we're going to talk about something that is not exactly happy. Happy, it, it, it's shit. It sucks. Um, someone that I do not know or did not know very well, I did not interact with him because I don't think I ever just did it. Just, just never noticed him, unfortunately. Is Jason, also known as Half Cocked. Now, he was one of our gun nut fanatics in our community. And he was. He seemed like a very nice person. I'm kicking myself that I never noticed his channel before. Um, he was a year and change older than I am. I'm 29. And he died recently, unfortunately. He's someone that should have lived a few more years. But, you know, that's how life is. Sometimes people die. It's very sad. It's very unfortunate. And... I wanted to just acknowledge him because I feel bad that I didn't get to interact with him as much as Oil the Gun did or as much as a couple of other guys did. One man attended his um his memorial service. Hold on, his name right here. The firearm guy. Read exactly as you hear it. The firearm guy. The firearm guy went to his memorial and showed little snapshots of the memorial, his picture memorial, um, his NRA cap, his, you know, his, this general shit, 1911 book, just general gun nuts stuff we all love to talk about. He was the type of guy that I never heard one word, one bad word about at all. And by the time I heard about him and got to notice him, he was dead. And we have to show respect for him, we have to show respect for his family. I was going to open the video with that, but my fucking brain is fucked up, so I, I forgot to open the video with, with talk about Jason. So please excuse me. But you know, so rest in peace, Jason. You know, we're, we're all gonna go one day and it, it's it, life is short and we all need to cherish life and we all need to Hang on to what we have because you know what? Let's face it, bro. Guys, you you never know. You might fucking die tomorrow. You, you know. Hang on to everything, you know. But you know, being that Jason was an NRA gun nut like we are, we all NRA gun nuts. We all love the NRA. We all love our Second Amendment. We all fanatically defend our ability to, to practice the Second Amendment. So, as a way of apologizing for. Mentioning him at the end, I'm going to dedicate the last segment of this discussion to him. I just want to give a little gun nut spiel. Oh, oh, by the way, before I give this gun nut spiel, if you have HBO, Wednesday night, I forget the exact time, I'm going to either watch it or DVR it if I can. I'm definitely going to watch it though. I'm definitely going to watch it. Whether I watch it as it premieres or if I watch the DVR, there's a debate on gun nuts. Pro gun, anti gun. This is about guns, that about guns. And this is a bunch of gun nuts and anti gun nuts talking about this and that, that and that and the other thing. And there's one guy that said, I'd rather need, have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Totally agree. Okay, so that's coming up. So we're gonna, I'm gonna give you a little question here. Okay, I'm gonna give a question. I'm gonna wait a minute. 30 seconds a minute and you're going to answer my question. Let me check my time. Four, I got plenty of fucking time. I got like four minutes here, bro. Okay. Okay, this is good. List one. George Washington. Thomas Jefferson. James Madison. Theodore Roosevelt Sr. Franklin Roosevelt. John F. Kennedy Sr. Ronald Reagan. That's Group A. Group B. Karl Marx. Adolf Hitler. Joseph Stalin. Fidel Castro. Pol Pot. Muammar Gaddafi. Saddam Hussein. What is the difference between those two groups? 
Well, they're all politicians. But what is the underlying difference between the two groups? Okay, time's up. Group A are politicians that were for gun rights. Washington, Jefferson, Madison, Roosevelt Sr., Roosevelt, Kennedy, Reagan. Group B was politicians that were against gun rights. I wonder why. They are Marx, Hitler, Stalin, Castro, Pot. Gaddafi, who will soon be dead, hopefully. I hope he suffers before he dies to that motherfucker. And Hussein. Two guys in this list are still alive, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the fucking people that die young. Look at these motherfuckers. Okay. So that's it. And once again, I apologize for not mentioning Jason at the beginning of the video. I should have done that. My fucking brain is mush. See, that's what happens. I'm making amateur mistakes now. Yeah. Okay. I took a quiz on an art class. I almost got an A+. Plus. This little girl in the class is in my art and my literature class. She got an A+. Plus. So I looked at her test afterwards. After we got her grade back, I said, you know, what did I do wrong? Let me check my corrections. Here's the deal. Colors, right? I wrote down the colors, but I forgot to say the words primary color. And then in addition to that, a week before Tuesday class, literature class, we had to take a little midterm. I forgot to turn the paper over and look on the back, and there was another paragraph I was supposed to write about on the back. So I ended up getting a fucking B minus instead of an A. I'm making amateur mistakes. I'm the type of fucking guy, I'll notice if one sock is white, one sock is off-white. But if you're standing in front of me completely naked, I'll miss it. So my, my brain is fucked up. But, okay. So, we're going to talk about micro-stamping in a minute. Thank you.